Hello friends, in the previous session we have seen the developed diagram of a two pole and four slot machine which was double layered. Okay, so in this case, <coughs> in that we found out that there are two parallel paths and also we know that the poles were also two. So in this uh, session let us take a four pole eight slot machine which is double layered and we will finally find that the number of uh, brushes which are going to come or the number of parallel paths which are going to come will become equal to the number of poles. So in this case the number of poles is four. So this is the diagram which we have drawn earlier to show the lap winding okay <coughs> but we need the developed diagram so let us as usual let us make a cut here so let me make a cut here like this and i'm going to develop it like this from these two sides okay so what we will get here we are going to get some slots first of all so let me just draw the slots so one two three four five six seven and eight slots we are going to get okay so it's corresponding to these eight slots here so in the first, uh, so if I uh, draw what we are going to see, so you are going to see one, second one, third conductor, fourth conductor, fifth conductor, sixth conductor, seventh conductor, and then finally the <coughs> eighth conductor. And which are the bottom conductors? So let me just refer the diagram. So this will be seven dash, and this will be eight dash, and this is what one dash, and this is two dash this is uh, 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and this is 6 dash okay so we are going to see something like this but we know that this is also not uh, of any importance to us so we have to see it from like this you're going to see it like this so you are going to see the back connections here between one and <coughs> one dash you'll see this conductor but however because the uh, back connection of this one dash is going to go downwards you are going not going to see that that is why that connection is always shown by a dotted line okay so in the first slot let us see what we are going to get here so let us take in the first slot you are going to have 1 and 7 dash so 1 and 7 dash are here so let me just draw it here so 1 and 7 dash in the second slot you are going to get 2 and 8 dash now remember why i am putting 8 dash in dotted line and 7 dash in dotted line because you cannot see it from the top because that is in the bottom side and in the third slot you are going to get 3 and uh, 1 dash I have already explained why all these things are there because the mechanical angle is uh, 90 degrees so 1 is here so 1 dash is here okay so you can see it refer the previous lectures for all those things so next one is 4 and uh, 2 dash so that will come here then we are having 5 and 3 dash oh, sorry I have not drawn the 3 dash here these diagrams just tend to become a little bit confusion, confusive, but you can do with little bit of concentration means you will get the correct results. So six, anything in life requires great deal of concentration if you want to achieve the correct results. And so this is seven and five dash. And finally, we are having our eight and it is six dash. Okay, so that is the <coughs> sorry so that is the diagram which we have got here now we have to do the lap finding here okay now before that uh, these are eight uh, eight slots and two poles right so under one pole so slots per pole slots per pole will be equal to eight by four will be equal to two therefore <coughs> at some point of time in the, under every pole there will be two slots so let us also take that condition see in this particular diagram here which i am showing under one slot there are only two poles okay because two has crossed but let us take the condition in which one and two are under the north pole that means a little bit behind in time three and four are in the south pole five and uh, the six are in the north pole and finally seven and eight are in the south pole. let us take a condition like that therefore what happens is that these two are in the north pole and these are in the south pole these two are in the north pole and uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry I just made a small mistake there while drawing this yeah let us just draw it once again yeah so these two slots are in the north pole and these two slots are in the south pole and these two slots are in the north pole as I've said earlier you need a lot of concentration to do this and these are in the south pole okay so that's that okay 
so let us now start connecting so one and one dash are internally connected because they are part of the same coil so let us draw the connection here so one and so this connection you can see but this connection you cannot see because that will go in the bottom and one dash <coughs> and uh, two are going to get uh, get connected here so one dash and two see one dash and two where is one dash yeah one dash and two are getting connected like this right? this is one dash connection and this is two connection so one dash and two are going to get connected now so something like this so one dash and two are got connected next two and two dash have to be connected this is internal connection so two and two dash two dash will get connected to three so it's like this so this is a dotted line actually so yeah so two dash and three are getting connected then three and three dash will get connected internal connection and three dash and four the bottom connection will be always dotted and that is going to a top connection that for that you can see three dash and four then four and four dash I hope you are not getting bored because there are a lot of connections but still once you understand these concepts you will be able to pick up it faster so four dash and five are going to get connected and then five and five dash part of the same coil five dash and six if you have a drafter and you do this right you in the colleges they will ask you to use a drafter that time these connections are much more neat not like this so six and six dash are going to get connected now six dash is going to get connected to seven okay seven has to get connected to seven dash so this is going to seven dash and this is coming from seven so i am marking it out seven dash will get connected to eight so this is coming from seven dash this is going to eight and then eight is going to get connected to eight dash so where is eight dash yeah eight dash is here so you are having eight dash connection coming from eight dash so that's the final connection that will go and get connected to the first conductor so this connection is also over so now what is left left is to connect the commutators so let us connect the commutators now okay so let us connect the commutator so as per the developed diagram based on the donut example you should see the commutators also so that is what you are seeing here so a b c d e f g and h so a b c d e f g and h so eight slots eight commutators okay so now let us copy this diagram here and let us make the circuit equivalent that is also important right so let us make the circuit equivalent so copy and paste yeah so i think i can make it a little bit bigger here now no yeah a little bit bigger yeah that's okay now it's okay clear yeah now we have to connect the brushes so let me assume that north pole everything is going to have an upward direction up 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 and up south everything will have a downward direction because you are having two sets of north poles so you are going to have a condition like this and south everything is going to go downwards so i have told you where the conductors have the same type of emf in a particular commutator that is going to be one of our brushes now mechanically how these brushes are going to kept that we will discuss when we start with armature reaction so this a has two conductors having the same direction so this is a good position for a brush c has two coming in the downward direction good position for a brush then this particular 5 and 7 that is the commutator e is also a good position and finally this here again is a good position downwards okay so now let us uh, tell say that it's a motor so any upward current through a brush will have a positive sign and here also you have a positive sign and here you are negative and here you are negative because these are both supplied by the same supply uh, they both have the same polarity therefore i can connect them together so therefore i can bring a connection like this okay i can take this connection and take this plus here and i can take the next connection here like this and i can put a minus here so this might be my 220 volt motor 220 volt dc motor so the current is going to go like this when you split from here come here go here and the current is going to come down like this through all these windings so the current enters here like this then it splits 
then it continues its path. You can see that the uh, directions are matching here. Now let us draw the circuit equivalent. For the circuit equivalent, you need two lines here. So one will be positive and one will be negative. Now because these brushes are connected together, basically these two brushes are the same. Okay. But because there are two brushes, let us show <coughs> two brush connections here. Irrespective of both these are going to do the same function. So plus plus and this is going to be minus minus. Now because both are connected together, I'll just connect it like this. This particular connection here, which I have shown, that is this connection, guys and girls. It is this connection. Okay. Now, <coughs> let us analyze the circuit now. Let us take a different color. So, from the first brush, one dash is getting connected. One dash is getting connected to, sorry, one is getting connected to one dash. So, two conductors are connected. One dash is getting connected to two. Okay. Two is getting connected to two dash. All right. Two is getting connected to dash. And finally, this current will come here and it can come out like this through the brush. Right. It is going to get out of the brush like this. Okay. So, between the positive and negative, you are having your first parallel connection. So, that is 1, 1 dash, 2 and 2 dash here. So, that is your first connection. So, 1, 1 dash, 2 and 2 dash here. Uh, 2, yeah, 2 and 2 dash. Okay, that's good. Okay, now let us take the second parallel path here. Okay, so <coughs> let us see here. So, this is from 8. This is the second parallel path. So, from 8 dash, it is going to go to 8. Okay, so this is coming from 8 dash. So, the first set of conductors, it is connected to 8 here like this. And from 8, it is going to go to 7 dash. Okay, <coughs> it is going to go to 7 dash. So, this is that connection from 8 to 7 dash. And from 7 dash, it is going to 7, right? So from 7 dash, it is going to 7. So, yeah, it is coming from 7 dash and it is coming to 7 here. Yeah. And then it finally comes to a negative thing here. Now you can say that this both are forming the same pair and uh, positive negative. It doesn't matter because all are connected together ultimately. So the next parallel connection would be from 8 dash to 8, 7 dash to 7. Okay. Now let us take the next positive brush and let us see the connections here. So where is the next positive brush? So this is the next positive brush. So here the connection splitting here so this is the splitting here and let me just put the current here also now. this is going to go like this yeah so the next set of conductors for the next positive brush is 5 is connected to 5 dash one set of conductors e plus e equal to 2e and from 5 dash it is going to 6 and from 6 it is going to 6 dash like this and then 6 dash it is going to go to the negative brush okay so you can start from here so 5 5 dash 6 and 6 dash and to a negative brush so this is 5 5 dash 6 and 6 dash and finally to a negative brush <coughs> finally it is going to be this thing here so let me just draw that also so the first conductor is here 4 dash so 4 dash is going to naturally get connected to 4 okay the emfs are getting added up 4 is going to get connected to 3 dash here, 3 dash, 3 dash is going to get connected to 3 and finally it comes out through the negative brush. So here it had started like this and it has come out. So the circuit configuration here would be 4 dash, 4, 3 dash and 3. So 4 dash, 4, 3 dash and 3. Let us see how many parallel paths we are having here. So, here you are having parallel path number 1, parallel path number 2, parallel path number 3, parallel path number 4 and how many poles did you have? 4 poles. Therefore, in a lap winding, the number of parallel paths is equal to the number of poles. If you are having 2 poles, you are having 2 parallel paths. If you are having 4 poles, 4 parallel paths, 8 poles, 8 parallel paths and so on. So, if your current here is Ia, it gets splitted into Ia by 2 and I by 2 at 2 brushes. And within the conductors, the current which will be flowing is Ia by 4. This point is very important because in exams like gate, they ask questions based on this concept. Okay. So, I hope you have understood this particular lecture and I think I have got more clarity here. So, if you like this lecture, please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.